Welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2018 and a half Heartland Trail Runner. This is the 18 model. We'll take a few minutes to walk around the outside and inside. On the front of the coach here we have a power tongue jack which has an LED light built in. Also has a manual crank override in case of failure. Has a 2 and 5 16 hitch ball. You've got your safety chains, breakaway cable. There's two 20 pound propane tanks on the front here with the changeover regulator. There is room for two batteries on the front. RV Nation does provide you with one. You have a lower diamond plate metal. Got a decent slope back here for a little bit better wind aerodynamics. Got a large pass through storage across the front. And notice that it's nice and finished off. You don't see all the exposed studding. They actually take the time to finish it off in here. That is the handle for the crank up scissor jacks. This one has four crank up and down manual scissor jacks. A lot of people use a good cordless drill with a socket to run those up and down. Over on the door side here, you have the other side of the storage compartment. We've got a nice power awning. They do the LED light strip built into the tube up here. These arms are also adjustable, so you can actually pull down and tilt it for better water runoff. Can't quite do that here right now because we're so close to that R-Pod there. Down below here, they have a nice little blue LED light underneath. And you can also see down here, we have the enclosed bottom. That helps with wind aerodynamics, helps keep things from hitting the bottom of your tanks when traveling down the road, and also helps extend the uh, camping season a little bit further into the wintertime. Triple entrance step. Got a large entry door with the radius top, screen door, and a window in the door. Double axle. Has the easy lube axle feature here where you can pop these off and grease the uh, fittings there. You have deep tent safety glass windows. This window here on this side is a slider so it slides open. We've got outdoor speakers. They have the blue light in them. Down here is your outside electric outlet. Four inch square tube bumper. Great place to store your dump hose. Got your spare tire and mount option on here. You can see from the back section here, it does have the radius rooftop, so it does give it a better water runoff. So it's kind of radius up there. You've got the gutter extensions that run down both sides with the three inch extension on them. Outside utility shower here, so you got hot and cold water, your cable hookup, furnace exhaust, your dump area down here for your gray and black tank. Notice the little foam coming out there where they tried to spray foam things up to help seal it, not just slap the plastic up and leave all the gaps. You have your hot and cold low point water drains with nice on off twist knobs instead of just caps. So it's a little easier to deal with. And down there is your fresh water tank drain. Power cord pulls out the side here. It's about 25 feet long roughly when they're all the way out. Your refrigerator access panel for maintenance. Stove exhaust up there. You do have to open that up when you're ready to use it. Six gallon water heater. This is an Atwood water heater. You have your drain right here. The computer board that tells it what to do has a little fuse system in it. So make sure you check that if you have an issue. 
that is gas and electric. City water and fresh water hookups are right there. Again, be sure to check out Couches RV Nation. We're one of the largest wholesale RV dealers in the country. We'll definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Uh, CouchesRVNation.com is the website. Or if you'd like, you can give me a call. Toll-free number, 888-417-8299, my direct extension. Again, it's Ray with Couches RV Nation. Here you have your VIN number information. Also, on the other side of the corner, there's VIN number information. Tells you some of your cargo capacities and weights. This has a cargo capacity of 2,730 pounds. Going up into the camper here, you've got your booth dinette. This dinette will go down and make into a bed. There is storage under this side and the other side. There's also an electric outlet down there. Got some nice overhead cabinets. Over here is the TV hookup. So you got your hookups for the antenna portion, power outlet. You can mount a flat screen here. Your booster is right here for the booster button. There are USB charging ports back here. And then you also have your AM FM radio, has Bluetooth, and also DVD player built in all right here. MP3s, but you can hook this right to your TV and play DVDs through that. Down below is your propane leak detector. You've got a 6 cubic foot Dometic gas and electric refrigerator. A little bit of storage up above. Down below is the electric box with your breakers and fuses. Freezer up top. Has instructions here to tell you how to work it. You've got the stainless front on the refrigerator the stove and also on the microwave. It's a three burner stove top. It's got the 16 inch oven. Does have the sparker to light the stove top here. Got the glass cover just folds up, flips again and acts as kind of a backsp uh, backsplash. Range hood for your fan and light. High point microwave. Some storage up above there. You have the nicer stainless sink here, high rise faucet, electric outlet on the side over there. Full extending ball bearing drawer guides. Some storage under here. Camper queen bed, so basically 60 inches wide, about 75 inches long. A lot of people, if they are taller, will get the little extender pillows you can buy aftermarket, scoot the mattress out, drop in the little extender piece, uh, and then when they're not using it in the day, they pop the extender out and scoot the mattress back to give them a little more room. Hanging closet on each side, overhead shelf, LED light up there, electric outlet on both sides. Emergency exit window here. You've got room to get around both sides of the bed. And the bed will raise up. So you got storage underneath of here. Fire extinguisher next to the door there. You've got your light switches. Light switch here for the bedroom area. Over on this side, you've got a light switch for the, the outside porch, the bottom lights, and the inside lights. And then you have your awning and out button for the power awning. 
Back here in the rear of the coach is your bathroom. So you have a foot flush toilet. Got a pretty good amount of storage back here. Got your shower, hot and cold water, has the ABS tub surround here. Also have a vent fan up here. Light switch and fan switch here. Water heater on gas button, water heater on electric button, uh, water pump, battery condition, fresh black and gray tank monitor here to tell you how full they're getting. Ground fault electric breaker by the sink there. And you do have some storage underneath the sink area back here. Again, just another quick video here on the Trail Runner SLE model. Be sure to check out more of our videos. If you got any questions, give me a call. Again, Ray at Couches RV Nation, 888-417-8299, extension 203. Thanks.